Hey guys, welcome back to Sonic 06. Uh, I'm Matt from SLP Adventures. I almost forgot my name for a second. Hey there, guys. I'm Sonic Ghost. Don't forget your name, man. And I'm Saxu26. Um, in today's episode, we're starting um, Silver's play Silver's is, is, is playthrough. Pothead the Porcupine's playthrough. Silver Silver's. So. In essence, this is the History of Trunks movie equivalent in the Sonic universe. I mean, what? In a way. <laughs> in a way. <laughs> Maybe. No, oh, no, not at all. I think I need to show this off. All the stuff, like this stuff that Silver's doing right now, you can't do in the game. Nope. You cannot fly. You cannot put out fires that easily. Nothing. Nope. Nope. Although the fire thing was incorporated in some generations, but that was with Blaze, not. Yeah, that, that was Blaze, so it's not even close. <laughs> Speaking of Blaze, there she is. Yep. <coughs> now, the one thing I heard about this game that, you know, just besides the fact that the game wrote itself out of existence in the end, the writers actually had to come out and say. Blaze is not from the future. She is from an alternate dimension because so many people are confusing Blaze of actually being the future just because of this game. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Why did they go out? Well, confusing that oh, once she's sent to look after the events that happen later in the game, close to the end of Silver's story, that then leads her into Sonic Rush. But then that doesn't make sense because memory loss and shenanigans like that. So I don't even understand. You're wrong. Oh, exactly. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna explain Silver's is um kind of play style before we get into the difference of this. He pretty much uses all his psychic powers, but he slows Christmas. Not like the other hedgehogs. He slows Christmas. That's one way now, to put it. <laughs> slows Christmas. That is brutal. <laughs> and anyways, like the way you can attack is by using psychokinesis on objects around you to throw at enemies. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. <laughs> yes, what, what, we all love the game. <laughs> and car to the face. <laughs> that tornado! It threw a car at me! That was really me! <laughs> but anyways, yeah. that's pretty much Silver's playthrough play um style in a nutshell. You have to pretty much depend on the environment to you use your attacks and whatnot. Now, yeah. you have a pimp slap move, but the pimp slap move is not very effective. It doesn't work unless you're in point blank range of the enemies anyways, and even then, it... no. It, it, it's even less accurate than Knuckles' punches. And that's saying something. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. But I kind of like Silver because he does a lot of uh, puzzles and like precision platforming. Like, you know, Sonic games don't do very much nowadays. Oh, nope. less like recent. Very unique. It, I mean, I know it's incredibly slow, and it, for most people, is probably the most boring playstyle in the entire game, but it's got a lot going for it. Yeah. And mm -hmm. from That's what I've true. heard about Sonic Rivals, it's actually done somewhat more decently in that. Yeah. Now, you have to use just. He's just out of these little spots here, the little wrinkles, in order to progress and whatnot. And I guess, like some places, it's just so weird. It's really obvious that you need to use that. Yeah, so they, they make it way more noticeable than they should, but oh well, what are you gonna do? Yeah. And let's uh, see, how far are we into this video? Okay, four minutes. I haven't explained this yet. If quality of the audio sounds different, it's because call quality is just being recorded with fraps right now. We're gonna use our call recorder, but it just... no. <laughs> it's glitching out, and uh, that's why I kinda wanna find a new one, but what other one can I find for free to record more than 15 minutes? And that's not just system audio. Oh, I should explain something. Boxes are gonna be your friends during your playtime with Silver. Because those are the only form of attack. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing here? Is he just rallying all his little fireballs back <laughs> at you? Come on, man. No, it's literally bouncing off him like it's made out of play doh. <laughs> <laughs> physics in this game. What is physics? <laughs> physics? What are those? <laughs> Pretty much the Wasn't, wait, if I'm not mistaken, weren't uh, the physics engine in this game made by Hav uh, Havoc, which are the people who kind of um, work on yes. it now? 
That's this game featured. runs on the basic version of the Havoc game engine, which is the same one used in Sonic Unleashed. Which I can see Sonic right now at Blaze. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Blaze is doing the chicken dance, and the Havoc engine was improved significantly <laughs> past this game. So, hey. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Okay, Matt, that has just reminded me I need to get Claire to do the chicken dance when we um when we start up Final Fantasy VII again because I can literally make Claire do the chicken dance <laughs> in the very first <laughs> Marco Reactor. <laughs> yep. Oh, the chicken dance. Oh my gosh, but anyways, back to the crates. There's three different types of crates. The silver ones, which are just normal crates. The red ones, which explode whenever they hit something, and the blue ones, which I think I picked up one a while ago, mm. it pretty much causes a, a pulse, an EMP pulse, which kind of like stuns everything. And you, and I forgot to mention this: when you stun an enemy, you um, you can come up. Yeah, and technically, on your point, there's four crates. You didn't say that the wooden crates and the steel crates are separate because wooden crates mm. break apart, but the steel crates don't as easily, so they're more used for breaking off objects. Yeah, I forgot about those ones. I mean, like, different kinds of, like... Eh, I guess you're right, though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always right, forgot. believe me. <coughs> kind of like freaking cold. It's kind of hilarious when Silver has something grabbed in his psychokinesis field, and he's hurt in the middle of it, so it, he's got hold of it, but at the same time, it's sort of half spazzing out at the same time. Yeah. Also, now we're playing fast. Yay! One of the best characters in the game. Because she actually focuses on okay. speed. Blaze is, like I said, one of the best characters in the game. But she's uncontrollable as flip. What sometimes. character isn't? <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, she pretty much acts like Sonic, but instead of her homing attack is being AA, you know, you tap A as soon as you do it, you push X on the game, on the 360 version. Well, that's how it is on Sonic Unleashed. You press one button to jump and the other button to do a homing attack. So, they use it again. And, well, another thing she has is that fire tornado attack, which, mm. honestly, in my opinion, doesn't do anything. Mm. Admittedly, nice. her axle tornado is considerably more useful in Sonic Rush. Oh, yeah. Go figure. It, it's um, because it's pretty much like a boost, that's why. <laughs> But the interesting thing about Blaze is a lot of people say Blaze is the fastest character in the game. Now, I will what tell you something there? I find rather interesting. I have seen this game hacked, and people have taken Sonic's model and put it over Blaze's moveset. Sonic playing with Blaze's moveset is no faster than Sonic playing with Sonic's moveset. Blaze and Sonic are the exact same speed. Wow. Well, yeah. I, sometimes that doesn't Blaze surprise is me. But... Than Sonic, so any illusion of speed, of more speed that you get playing as Blaze, is just that an illusion. It just it looks considerably faster because of camera angles or hey, we're on fire. Yeah, maybe <laughs> sometimes the frame rate, because in the areas where you play as Blaze, the frame rate doesn't drop as much. So maybe it's also by that. That and her homing attack is a little bit more like. Shadow's Chaos Snap because of how fast it is, so... True. And that, and the guy who's playing the game has dropped the call, and I'm trying to get him back. Well, that's a good oh. thing I am recording this for Fraps, because probably the Skype recorder would bug out as soon as he dropped. Did once before. And this is why I use Camtasia. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, I practice enough with Camtasia and restart it enough to the point that it's not going to crash and get rid of everything. <laughs> because I'm stupidly cautious like that, and surprisingly that method actually works. Yeah. Which is what I'm able to do right now with Fraps, just pretty much now I don't have to wait for it to render it out. It's pretty much the same method. And cars. Don't forget the cars. <laughs> The cars are sliding down the side of a building and it's annoying. I don't know why they're so slow. What what I find hilarious is the cars are sliding down. The pipe is sort of just without rolling, but the lava monsters are just scaling up it with no problem. Like they're not yeah. slipping or anything. I was about ready to say end of the day, call Skype. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, it was weird because I got dis disconnected for a second, and then and then it was trying to reconnect itself into the Skype, you know, call. 
phone call thing came up and I kept pushing answer, but it wouldn't answer. I just sat there for like a minute just trying to eat. Fantastic, <laughs> more Skype screw ups. Skype has been acting up so much. And that is why I'm trying to get TeamSpeak in order to work. Anyways, it looks That's... like we've finally got to the end here. Yeah. Did you guys see my funny edit I think I did with the rail grinding? It was rail grinding? Yes. <laughs> Alright, okay, yeah, I, we saw I it. I did, yes. And if I didn't, I was probably just distracted. Um, Silver, you're not on a roll. In fact, come to think of it, you're not on anything. You're, sh you're floating. <laughs> silly, you silly Silver. goose. You silly pothead. Also, giant golden cookie. Like we haven't seen those before. Oh, so hello, Iblis. Silly brand Oreos, yes. <laughs> <laughs> hello, <laughs> Iblis. We won't be seeing you a couple more times. Uh, Great, okay, well... Master of all Slugma. Okay, I gotta say something. Okay, the version of Iblis we fought in Sonic Story was called Iblis 2. This is Iblis 1. And Iblis 1 actually is a little more harmful than 2. Just 2 takes forever. What 2 if takes forever. Numbered 1, 2, and 3. But 2 is technically the lava form. And 1 is the form afterwards. And 3 is identical to 1. So I was about ready to say that. 1 and 3 are pretty much the same thing. Except 3 is a tiny bit bigger than this. Why not just say Iblis and Babby Iblis? <laughs> That's one way to put it. <laughs> They pretty much, pretty much gotta play a game of catch here. Or oh, just go slush and mud cargo. That works too. <laughs> <laughs> He's covered in rocks. It's fitting. Iblis the Pokemon. Yes. Pretty much this boss took stuff at his face. Yep. That's the gist of Silver much. Story. Chucking things at Iblis' face. Stop doing that, Skype. Just anyways. Um, you can pretty much. Dang it! Okay, you can pretty much just grab whatever he throws, maybe? I'm trying to take a guess yeah. what he's saying. Sorry, I got disconnected from Team Viewer. Damn it. Hold on, I'm trying to. Well, just say it again, just say it again. Anyways, pretty much whenever he launches projectiles at you, you can catch it with your psychokinesis. And, and then launch it back at him. Team Viewer. So, I, bu I believe this limit to how many things he can hold in the field, plus if you grab too many things, then it just... EVERYTHING SMACKS INTO EVERYTHING ELSE, as is a bigger problem when you get one of Silver's upgrades, because he launches everything at once, and that's kind of dumb. Yeah, and for the limit for everything he can grab, it's pretty much how much that meteor he has. If that meteor goes completely down, he can't grab anything else. Simple as that. Yeah. Simple as that. And, well, unlike... Unlike Sonic, that meter actually has purpose for him. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, Sonic and Shadow's meters are actually properly programmed, so they actually work. Yeah, the existence Wait, of... did you say Sonic and Shadow's? Yeah, you Shadow has a mirror. Er, oh, you said Sonic and Shadow. <laughs> okay, Silver and Shadow's. Whoops, sorry. Silver and Shadow. Sonic's unproperly programmed. There, try to fix it. <laughs> well, they were supposed to have Sonic's <laughs> work, but they didn't bother finishing it. Yeah, like most just of this like, game. Just like the shield item boxes that were meant to be in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Cough, the cough, instruction manual lies. About a lot. But yet, a lot of them do. Especially with the whole thing is, you will enjoy this game. You will enjoy this game A 4.0? Oh boy, this game isn't going to be that pleasant. It really does look like a giant waifu cookie. <laughs> it does, <laughs> yeah. Especially when he smashes it, you know. The brain scratch com the brain scratch commentary on Sonic Next Gen and they're just going, It doesn't look like a building. It just looks like a giant waifu cookie and I'm just thinking, Yes it does. Which it is. It is. I love me those waifu biscuits. Come on, Skype, stop doing this. And thus that's your random comment of the day. Oh my gosh. Team viewer. Yeah. We at the end of the episode. Yeah, we're at the end anyway, so at least that works out. Bliss <laughs> really missed an opportunity to do the Terminator 2 thumbs up pose as he fell into the lava. Yes. <laughs> I mean, even Poseidon did that in Jason and the Argonauts, so. Or maybe yep. the Terminator pinched the idea from that. I don't know. <laughs> you never know. You never know.
never know. Everyone knows Alex Watts who. steals his ideas from Greek gods, like Poseidon. Yes. <laughs> Anywho, folks, we'll see you in the next episode. Gods. I guess. You must remember, I take my ideas from the gods. It's a powerful eye. Uh, as you were saying, man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was just trying to end the episode. Anyways, uh, folks, we'll see you guys in the next episode. <laughs> <laughs>